I'm Daniel Stevens, the Associate Director of the Scholars Initiative at the Museum of the Bible. Just like you, I am still trapped at home, but trying to do the best I can to still think about things we have in the museum and be able to share them with you. As you can see, my scooter too is stuck here, properly socially distanced, really missing the outside or the inside of the museum as it may be. At Museum of the Bible, we have all sorts of New Testament manuscripts, whether it's a small fragment of the Greek New Testament from the early centuries of Christianity, or great whole Bibles from the Latin period, or even modern Bibles. We have all sorts of witnesses to the New Testament. But that raises the question, what is the New Testament? The New Testament isn't a book, but rather it's a collection of books and letters most likely all written within the first century that form the basis of the Christian scriptures. In all Christian traditions, the New Testament is held as, in, in some way, scripture or as a part of the Bible. The, if you were to go through a New Testament in the, in the most common order, the first thing you'll find are the Gospels. What are Gospels? More or less, they're a type of ancient biography about the life of Jesus. Why we say more or less is because unlike a normal biography, which spends detail on all of the things that a person did and the, the majority of the course of their life, the Gospels focus on the last roughly three years of the life of Jesus. And within that, an outsized portion is given to just the last week of Jesus' life. So this narrow focus is what makes it not quite a normal biography. If you're reading along next, you'll come into the Acts of the Apostles. Now, the Acts of the Apostles, often just called Acts, was written by the same author as the Gospel of Luke, so Luke, and it, again, more or less, is a history of the early days of the Christian movement, starting in Jerusalem and then spreading from there. And when we mention Paul, that brings us to the next section of the New Testament, called the Epistles. Now, epistle is a word that just means letter. These are letters sent from individuals to either other individuals or groups. After those, you'll come to the book of Revelation. This is the last book in the New Testament, a theological view of both the present day from the point of the author and the future going forward, talking about God breaking into history and eventually winning over the forces of evil. So the Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, the Epistles, and Revelation. Those together, collected, form the New Testament. 